I remember a very simple time when all video games looked like this. But now today we're stuck playing this. So in the hopes of preserving my mental sanity and also preserving my love of gaming, today I'm gonna to be playing games from my childhood, back during a much simpler time when I used to smile. The first game we're gonna check out is one of my absolute all-time favorites, Club Penguin. Oh my god, I'm in! Hi everybody! Uh, the original Club Penguin servers have been shut down, so this is just a copy that somebody put together. But this looks pretty legit, this has everything. The first thing I tried to do is make a friend. Hi! Now for my first trip down memory lane, I decided to go sled racing. This is one of my favorite mini games to play. Oh, come on. You really have to wait for somebody else? There's no way in hell I'm gonna- Oh my god, we got someone. No way! We gotta beat this guy. No! My god, I almost hit the stump. Oh, dude, we're kind of cruising. This guy's a little bit ahead of you, though. Oh! Dude, did I come in second? So I guess there's no official placement. Everyone's a winner. I waited all that time to lose? But I wasn't gonna settle for that. I have to get a win. We're winning this time. How is this person a little ahead of me? Doesn't even matter, it's a stupid game anyways. Then to calm my nerves, I decided to go ice fishing. I remember when I was younger begging my parents for a Club Penguin membership, but they would never let me get one. So I remember trying to look up like hacks on how to like get free Club Penguin coins or whatever they were called. This is impressive. I've used the same worm to catch 53 fish. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a... Something like that. And then I just messed around and played a few different mini games. And most of them were pretty fun. Until I found this one. We need pizza sauce and cheese. Done. Sauce and cheese. Cheese and hot sauce. All right, I'm with you. Dude, this is easy. I could do this in real life. Squid on a pizza. No, I didn't get all the sauce. Oh my God. Ah, okay. Oh. All right, it's getting a little fast now. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's uh, one, two. No, ah. Oh my god! I put on the wrong sauce! <laughs> this is so stressful! Eventually. Oh my god, we did it. That's not my face. I'm almost crying right now. And my nostalgia trip wouldn't be complete unless I adopted a puffle. <gasps> Look at this guy, he's so cute! Oh my god! Alright, this little guy's too cute. I gotta get him. And I decided to name him Puffy. Hi, Puffy! Look at him! He's so cute! One like equals one treat for Puffy. Now, I don't want to exaggerate too much, but this next game might seriously be my favorite of all time. All right, it took me a little while to figure out the controls, but I think I got it now. Now, this was one of the very first games that I ever got when my parents got me a Nintendo DS. I totally forgot to mention this during the recording, but the game's called Super Mario 64. The nostalgia right now is hitting me like crazy. I can't even tell you guys how much I played this game. I collected all 150 stars, got all the secret stars. All right, so my goal is just to get one star. We're just gonna complete one level. Yo, this music! All right, we don't want to get hit by the Goombas. Get out of here, Goombas. Oh, the chopper! Oh my god, he almost got me. All right, we gotta run to the top of the mountain. Now, you would think getting to the top of the mountain would be pretty easy. All right, is it safe to go? Oh, it's not safe to go! <laughs> okay, we're going. No, 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 no! Well, it turns out you can just hug the wall and completely avoid him. I swear, guys, I have played this game. And once I got to the top, I had to fight this guy. All right, I want to be completely honest with you guys. I forget how to battle. Just run it around, man. I'm not gonna get hit by your mobs! Well, after running in circles for about five minutes, I finally died. I was so close! Are you sure about that? But I know how to defeat the boss now. And after tweaking my settings, I gave it another try. All right, I think we got it this time. Turns out you gotta eat the explosive balls that get thrown at you and then spit them back out at him. Oh, we hit him, we hit him, we hit him. Yes, we just got the power side. I think we got it. Yes. Give me that. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Man, I'm all up in my feels playing that. Oh my God, I'm not even kidding. I... I feel like I could play this for hours. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize ahead of time for how much I nerd out over this next game. My name in Wizards 101 is Quan Iron Pants. I am a level 47 master pyromancer, which means I belong to the school of fire. Loser! You're a loser! So the way this game works is when you join, you take a test. And the test is really just about who you are as a person, and it helps to determine what school you're going to go into. Your school of life, school of death fire, ice, storm, stuff like that. And then you level up in this game by defeating NPCs and bosses and completing side quests. So it looks like I have a quest here from Jack Hallow. What's poppin'? So there's a bunch of different quests I can do here. I think this is all Halloween themed. Now I skip all this dialogue. I don't pay any attention to it. But the majority of your time in this game is actually spent fighting NPCs. And depending on where you are, you can just find these NPCs roaming around the streets. Like that right there. That is a lumbering troll. And if I want to fight him, I just got to walk in front of him. And then I can use these cards to deal damage against the NPC. So this lumbering troll only has 135 health. So I'm just going to use this lightning bat on him. And this should instantly kill him. These are low level NPCs. They don't have a whole lot of health. So I won't bore you guys with all the details of every little aspect of this game. But I sunk 
hours into this. And this is another game too. I asked my parents over and over and over. I was like, please allow me to have a Wizards 101 membership. There were so many different areas of this game that I wanted to explore, but I couldn't. I just didn't have any money. I remember I really got back into this game about like six months ago. And I kid you not, the first day I started playing it again, I think I literally played it for like eight hours straight. This game holds a very special place in my heart. And believe it or not, Yes, I did save the best for last. Now, I'm sure this is a game that all of you will recognize. And a lot of you guys might not know this because I've really been a Call of Duty, Fortnite, Zombies kind of YouTuber. But I used to play a decent amount of Minecraft on this channel. Now, some of the real pro Minecraft players among you might have already noticed that this is a really old version of Minecraft. This is actually version 1.8.8, which was actually released on July 28th, 2015. This server that I'm on right now is the exact same world that I used for a series called A Tale of Two Paths seven years ago on my channel. The last time I uploaded the video was August 27th, 2015. I mean, this is literally an inventory that's about as old as my YouTube channel. I actually went back and watched my old video and I saw some coordinates. I hear a ton of mobs around me, but it's so tempting to go and like challenge them. And I want to go back to this exact same spot that I was in seven years ago. This was back before swimming in Minecraft was a thing. All the old textures, gravel looks different now. But again, the reason I'm including Minecraft is because a lot of you may be surprised by this, but it's actually one of my favorite games of all time. Like I've said this before on stream, if there was only one game that I'd be forced to play for the rest of my life, I think I'd pick Minecraft. Just simply because there's so much you can do in this game. All right, so we're actually getting really close here. I think this is actually it. This is roughly the spot. Oh my God, this is the spot. But I got to the top of the world. I got to the top of it. Okay. So if we go straight down here, we should be able to find my old mining strips. I really hope there's no lava down here. Okay, here we are. Wow. All right, I'm just going to start digging up right here. That's so crazy, man. I'm literally looking at the exact spot I started to dig up seven years ago. So I'm hoping if I go back through here, I'll be able to find a couple strip mines that I used to have. I think I, I, think I got all of it that was right there anyways. Oh my gosh, this was one of our little stations. Now, I won't bore you guys with all the analysis I did of my old video, but I eventually found the path back to my old strip mines. I think it's right here. In order to get all the way back up here to the surface, Oh my god. No way, man. This is crazy. All the way down, then it was up here. We're gonna make ourselves, make our way back to the surface. No shot. Okay, and then in one of these areas was where I got the diamonds. <gasps> diamonds! I found some diamonds. And then right after we got the diamonds, we must have come right to here. And this is where we had two furnaces and two crafting tables. This is so freaking cool, man. And before I get off the server, my final goal is going to be to find diamonds. I'm going to start strip mining right here on lucky level 11. All right, guys, don't be mad at me, okay? I'm just going to give myself an iron pick. All right, you guys saw nothing. I honestly wonder how long this is going to take. Oh, I hear lava. Oh, a new mining area. Okay, maybe I can get lucky and just find some, like, exposed... Oh, diamonds! Let's freaking go, dude. I was worried we were gonna have to get a new pick. No way! Four diamonds? Not bad at all. Let me know in the comments if I should revisit this again in, like, seven years.